In space, no one can hear you scream. Have you ever wondered how true that really is? Since I find it unlikely that any of us will just randomly find our way to space, we'll have to settle for scientific observations that have already been established to answer this question. Can you hear sound in space? To find the answer to this question, we must first understand how sound travels. Sound travels in mechanical waves. A mechanical wave is a disturbance that moves and transports energy from one place to another through a medium. In sound, the disturbance is a vibrating object. The medium is any series of interactive particles, meaning gases, liquids, and solids. Take a look at this example. When the bell rings, it vibrates, which means the bell is moving inward and outward very rapidly. When the bell moves outward, it pushes against the air particles that push against other adjacent air particles, and so on. As the bell flexes inward, it pulls against the adjacent air particles, which causes them to pull against other particles. The vibrating bell is the initial disturbance, and the air particles carrying on this disturbance are the medium. The push and pull pattern altogether is a sound wave. When we hear the bell tolling, what's basically happening is the air particles from these sound waves are colliding with our eardrums. This sets off a sequence of vibrations inside the ear that our brains interpret into the sounds of the bell. So, sound needs a physical medium in order to travel. You could say that sound waves require a medium the same way that a slinky wave needs the coils of a slinky. The next question is, is there enough physical material in space for it to act as a medium for the sound waves? Space is often identified as a vacuum, which means that there is a complete absence of matter. But how can space be a vacuum when there's matter everywhere? In the stars, asteroids, comets, Earth itself? It's because space is big. Between these large objects are millions and millions of miles of emptiness. This empty space, usually referred to as interstellar space, is practically devoid of all matter and could therefore be a vacuum. Since sound waves can only travel through matter, and there is almost no matter in interstellar space, sound can't travel through it. The distance between particles is so great that they would never collide with each other. But what about radio waves and light waves? How come they can travel through space? Radio waves and light waves are not mechanical waves, but electromagnetic waves or light. Light does not need air to travel and can propagate through a vacuum, unlike sound which cannot travel without a medium. But aren't there gases in space? Why can't sound travel through them? There are gases in space, and these gases do transmit sound waves just like they are on Earth. However, interstellar glass clouds are much less dense than the Earth's atmosphere, meaning that they have fewer atoms per cubic foot. So, if a sound wave was traveling through one of these gas clouds, only a few atoms per second would impact our eardrum, and we wouldn't be able to hear anything because our ears aren't sensitive enough. So, to answer the question, can you hear sound in space? It's a little sad, but space really is silent. Despite the knowledge of Hollywood filmmakers, it's impossible to hear sound in space. So if you think about it, this... should have really been this.